okay today we are going to see uh, dc circuit breakers right uh, you know the circuit breaker is means what it's like uh, similar then advance then fuse right uh, for example for whenever the abnormal current is flowing uh, we are breaking the circuit to protect the electrical equipments and electrical devices also right uh, we have uh, two types of circuit breaker based on the supply ac circuit breaker and dc circuit breaker now we are seeing about the dc circuit breaker because in the 50 unit we have a dc circuit breaker uh, for high voltage dc it is used in electrical propulsion uh, for example you see that in the ships they will say voltage less than 1000 volt is called as low voltage the voltage higher than 1000 volt is called as high voltage so to break that mechanism we need a breaker we are, we are discussing about dc circuit breaker yeah you see the dc circuit breaker it is the protection of electrical devices that operate with direct current uh, whenever it exceeds the normal current for example it may be overloaded or some case it may be a fault what happened mean uh, abnormal current is flowing through there so it uh, the relay senses the fault and sends a command signal to the circuit breaker it will trip the circuit right like that the circuit breaker will function uh, we have uh, two types like ac circuit breaker and dc circuit breaker the main difference is that in dc the voltage output is constant we know that in ac it is changing a positive off cycle negative off cycle it changes every time per second uh, what is the main difference between ac circuit breaker and dc circuit breaker mean in ac is mainly preferred only for long transmission right the dc is used for you know what we are using in for charging solar panels a uh, very uh, less distance we will prefer a dc circuit breaker uh, dc supply also will prefer only for the less distances we will prefer that one uh, you see here is both dc and ac circuit breaker works with different types of electric current uh, DC produces a voltage output that has a constant value over time, but alternating is not like that. It is having a positive or negative cycle. It changes every time per second. Uh, we know that in India we are using 50 hertz, in US and all we are using 60 hertz of frequency, right? In electrical grids, normally we have an AC power. Uh, for industry or battery-based applications, we will work with the DC power. Now we are going to see a static DC circuit breaker using a power electronic device, how it will function and how it will break the circuit. Yeah, this circuit is nothing but a static DC circuit breaker. You can see that there is a DC voltage is there, right? There is a load is connected parallel with the DC voltage. There is a high resistance is there and capacitor is connected in between that high resistance and the load. And you see there are two SCRs are connected, SCR1 and SCR2. Here, this SCR1 is called as main SCR. If I want to trip the circuit, I have to turn off the main SCR. Main SCR circuit. Uh, under normal condition, when there is no fault on the load or there is no short circuit on the load, how it will function means the DC voltage is completely across the load voltage. So the current is flows like that. Uh, it goes to the load and some current is poured through the high resistance and it goes to the capacitor plus and it leaves a minus and it goes to the SCR and it goes to the negative terminal, right? So under normal condition, the DC voltage, the plus starts here, the DC voltage, it goes to the high resistance, it go connect to the capacitor and it leaves a negative terminal and it connects to the SCR, right? Normally it will function like that when there is no fault in the load or when there is no short circuit, uh, in the abnormal condition is notified in the load. So what happens when there is a short circuit or abnormal condition happen in the load? You know that when there is a short circuit, short circuit means the current value goes higher. Generally in the resistance, the current is going less than the holding current. You know that latching current and holding current in SCR we see in the very first unit. So what do we say that whenever the current will be more, what happens means the higher current will flow and charge the capacitor in the opposite direction of than the normal condition. You see that in the normal condition, the current is flowing through the resistor, it will charge the capacitor and it goes to the SCR1. The abnormal condition, what happens means, current starts flowing through the load and it goes to the capacitor 
and it makes a turn on the ser2 when the ser2 is turned on automatically the ser1 will be turned off because we know that ser is only working in one direction the current flows from uh, cathode to anode will not function so during the abnormal condition what happens means the dc voltage goes the load circuit abnormal current is flowing through the capacitor it goes to the ser2 and it goes to the negative terminal so in abnormal condition vdc load capacitor ser2 and it goes to the vdc so we know that the current is nothing but the potential difference between the two ends that means the current will flow from higher potential to lower potential until the capacitor is charging fully what happen when the capacitor is charged fully the dc voltage is also there when the capacitor when the capacitor and the dc voltage are equal what happens when there is no current will flow through the load that means there is no potential difference between the dc voltage and the capacitor so there is no current will flow through the load that means uh, the circuit breaker is turned on to protect the electrical equipment that means we are breaking the device so like that when we are we want to break the device ser2 is turned on whenever it is working under normal condition ser1 is turned on i hope you understand the operation is given here uh, what i said like that so in normal condition how current is passing yeah in normal condition you see here there is a vdc it is goes to r1 high resistance some current will flow through that one this current will be less than the holding current vdc r1 capacitor and ser1 and it goes to the negative like it it will work in the normal condition when the fault is detected the high current will be flow in the fault means is nothing but high current will be there whenever the high current will be there what happen that current starts flowing through the capacitor this capacitor is going to work as a protective equipment protection device for these two ser and this still any doubt is there no sir no okay uh, like that it will the operation is clearly given what we discussed here also uh, this is applications where we are using a dc circuit breaker we are high voltage electrical propulsion in ship uh, we are using this dc circuit breaker and uh, is battery powered electrical vehicles solar panels and uh, rural zones the electrical grid everywhere we use this uh, dc circuit breaker in electrical components uh, it's like vehicles in both gas cars and electrical cars you know that now all changed to electrical vehicles so there also we are using this circuit breaker because all are working under a dc circuit right charging stations for electrical vehicle and ups and uh, dc in the battery banks also and photovoltaic solar panel installations we are using this dc circuit breaker and dc electrical motor we will use this for controlling that one we will use that one uh, for high efficiency led lamps and all uh, we are using this kind of circuit breakers this is question mainly will come under sir one doubt is there sir sir yes uh, sir uh, here load and r1 are connected in parallel so obviously current will be flowing only in the easiest path no, sir why it will go to r1 yeah 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 the high resistance will be there the normal that is current will be less than the holding current holding current you know that it is very minimum current to turn on the ser like the very minimum current only will flow the entire current will be flow in the load circuit only uh, the excess uh -huh. current will be flow that excess current means abnormal current during the short circuit condition it will be operating in the reverse direction right normally okay. it will flow this is high resistance high resistance means very less current will flow through the capacitor Uh, uh, okay, okay. Yeah. Once you go through so, uh, in the normal working condition, the current will not flow from uh, R1. What? Ante? So in the normal working condition, yes. The no, uh, the uh, the current will not flow from R1. Yeah. Under normal working condition, the current minimum current that is less than the holding current will be flow. That is the the current path. I am what I am saying that is voltage is connected across the load. Right here. Uh, what is, it is a high resistance some current will flow that is current is less than the holding current the flow direction you can make the load will be already getting the current only normal current will flow through the load and the remaining current it flows through that one it will comes to c1 and uh, what to say ser1 to make the what to say then ser1 will be connected only we are connecting across that one 
that means that parallel is there the dc voltage can be flow like that so this one operate if you operate an ser one only it is like to be a parallel operation the load is connected in parallel only okay. like that yeah you go through the entire ppt if you have doubt you come with me we can discuss in the next class also like that. Sir, so you told the excess current only will be passing through the load. So at that time, uh, current will so be passing through R1 is, also. Excess current will flow through the load not. If it is short circuited, for example, uh, overload is arised, the load we are increasing, or short circuit or two, touching of two lines like that to make a short circuit. High current will flow. High current it is abnormal condition. What is happening? The breaker generally it will do whenever there is a high current, it will break the circuit, right? So. Oh, for, yeah. Yeah, like that when the high current will be there, we need to break the circuit. Here to break the circuit, uh, that means SCR2 is turned on and the SCR1 will turn off because SCR1 is the main circuit, what to say, under mm. normal condition to make it abnormal, to release that excess current, to punching that arc, we are turning on this SCR1 and the capacitor gets fully charged uh, because of this VDC and uh, capacitor, both are equal. Uh, there is what happened there is no both are equal means there is no potential difference between these two ends so what happened the excess current will be removed then it will come oh, to okay, circuit breaker will come to the off position like that then we have to operate manually or automatically also we can turn on because after clearing the abnormal condition okay yes right Yeah, that's all about the class. I'll send the PPT in the group. Okay. Only 32 members are present. Pradeep, you've taken the screenshot. Yes, sir, I'm taking sure. Okay, that's all. Anyway, I have taken so. 32 members of combined of both classes. Uh, this class around 45, this kind of 80, 85 members. This people only join. Okay, thank you. We'll see. In, uh, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I am thank you, sir. Thank you. I'm log off. I am logging off. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir.